Hey, what's up guys? I am super excited to share with you how you can use the power of stable diffusion with your type bots. In this video, I'm going to go over the text to image API and replicate a similar concept like you see here. At the bottom, you can see this text prompt that reads a dream of a distant galaxy concept art matte painting HQ 4K. And then Stable Diffusion pumps out these four really cool AI generated art pieces. To make that happen in Typebot, we need to head over to the Stable Diffusion API docs and get a couple of things for our API call in Typebot. But of course, first you need to create an account so that you can generate your own API key. And then after you do that, all you need to do is grab this base URL that you see here and then copy this request body. Then hop over to Typebot and use this webhook block like I did right here. Pass in the API base URL. I save my API key as a variable, but you can just pass it in as a string if you want. But something to keep in mind if you save your API key as a variable is to pass in your API key when you test your request. So before I test the request, let's review what the prompt says. So we should expect for the stable diffusion model to create an ultra realistic close-up portrait of a beautiful pale cyberpunk female with heavy black eyeliner with blue eyes, shaved side haircut, hyper detail, cinematic lighting, magic neon, dark red city, Canon EOS R3, Nikon with some camera settings it looks like, 8K raw, unedited, symmetrical balance, in frame with AK. Wow, that was a super specific prompt. Another part of the request I thought was interesting is this negative prompt. It seems like this is telling the stable diffusion model to remove or exclude any of these things from the final image. I'm not going to go through this one because it's much longer than the prompt, but I do think it's interesting just to see what kinds of things that we should pay attention to exclude from our final image. And since we're on the topic of creating specific prompts, I do think it's worth having a look at this prompt guide. I'll provide a link in the description below. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful so far, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay. Now that we have an idea of the prompt that we're feeding the Stable Diffusion API and also what not to expect with the negative prompt, let's test this out. And I'm going to save this variable as text to image underscore image. All right, let's preview this API call. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, play around with this. This seems like super fun and so many different opportunities and possibilities that we can use it with. And I'd love to hear how you're using it with your type bot. All right. See you in the next video.